So we have a level of support on the indicator, right? And it will have that 50 minute breakout. So we know this is gonna be a, a zone for us. All right, so we're right here on the, um, this is the first 50 minutes, we have that support. Market just retested that. We're gonna see here, right? We might have this move just touch that support. We have the 50 minute breakout. We're gonna see if it's gonna hold that. And then we're gonna see if it's gonna start making its move up. We can already start looking into the buying this. So we can see this next candle came to make a test. This candle came and, and uh, tried to break below, couldn't do it. We're gonna see if this is gonna do it. Divergence also telling us the market wants to go the other direction. We can start already seeing that push back above. It keeps retesting. Yes, yeah, still holding up. So just just waiting for opportunity, guys. Not not want to rush anything yet. See, so yeah, kind of like struggling. Looks like the sellers want to bring this lower. So we might be lucky enough right now to have this candle kind of close lower, and then we have the next candle come back up. Right, that's what we're looking for here so far. Coming back into that support. Now they're trying to make that move. Making a new low. We will see multiple bounces of the support. We can look for, uh, again, to buy it. <laughs> Man, look at this, guys. Keeps one, two, three, four, five times is testing that support but it's not giving us confirmation that it wants to, you know, go back up. It's just keeps trying. I mean, divergence, right? Telling us through a signal, go long. I, divergence is here. That's why it's kind of like keeping me away from selling, right? Because I, I think it, it's just making this push down here and it's going to come back inside. And instead of, if, instead of selling this, we'll be buying this, right? From this low to this low to higher low. It's coming back inside. See, right now it's retesting. That's what happens, guys, when we're patient, patient, patient. You don't want to just take a trade that goes against so quick and is like, ah, man, all this for nothing. But see, now it's coming back inside because ES is up there. It's coming back inside. Divergence is there. ES is there. All right, guys, I'm going to make sure this closes above. I don't want it just to retest. Close. All right, guys, so I'm going to take this here. Taking a bit of more risk here because I'm buying. Just going based off of what the divergence is telling me, based on the ES. I'm going to put my stop loss at break even. I need to take any heat. And I was already up there 150. Right, that's your target right there, guys. If you're holding that trade, target. Let's go. <laughs> it got it. Yeah. Dude. 500 bucks. There you go, man. There you go. So this is what it is, right, guys? We waited, waited, waited. And then it's like, okay, at this point, I was thinking of selling some with the with this. This is where this is where div divergence came into into help. It was down here. It was preventing me to take the straight sell, right? That move right there was sixty six ticks, guys. So anybody that had a 40, 50, or sixty target, it, it got hit.